Oh, shit. My fucking back has hurt so bad the last, like, however many days. From doing... I laid down on my stomach on the couch for like five minutes, and then I got up. <laughs> so from being in your mid thirties, yep. is the that's, uh, it. that's all I did. Is the uh, yeah okay? <laughs> I understand. I understand. So welcome back, everyone. Episode twenty eight to the Poor Choices Show. I am your host, Chris. I'm here with my co-host, David. And to Hayden Penetier, Usain Bolt, Wilt Chamberlain, Kenny Rogers, and Mike Evans. A huge happy, happy birthday. birthday. Let's make some poor choices. The fridge keeps them pretty cold. That's hot warm. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe so two things i didn't have my finger ready and i'm very proud of how quickly i grabbed it on the first shot and pull it was just like bam second second. hayden one of my all-time celebrity crushes for sure so it's funny that out of the five i said you Picked her to mention something about. I'll be honest. I didn't hear any of the other names after he said her name. Mm. <laughs> I just got yeah, just like you can like impose back like, to it. Yeah, you can post, you can put like birds flying around and, like, and just her like fade in. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I was going to say it was funny you said something about her because the the other four were all mentioned in last week's episode. Last week, so football players, um, Mike Evans, who I took in the draft. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Usain Bolt and Wilt Chamberlain, who were brought up on the Unbreakable Records. Okay, yeah. And Kenny Rogers, who was brought up on our <laughs> beer cans. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of uh, Andy Samberg making Kenny Rogers chicken jokes at the roast of James Franco. Hmm. No, no, I don't know if I, I don't, I know I've seen it. I don't know if I recall any, something along the lines. If you guys are all chickens, uh, cause I'm roast, I'm roasting y'all like a bunch of chickens. And he said, that's a Kenny Rogers joke. I don't know. Hmm. He delivered a lot better than I could. Anyways. Well, uh, pumpkin spice is back at Wawa. Ugh, it's August. It? <laughs> it's not even yeah. fucking September. As long as it's not, I mean, granted, I love peppermint, but I don't like seeing it yet. So as long as we're not there yet. Do you drink? Are you a fan of like pumpkin spice stuff? Like, will you get it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you already got it. Yeah, I walked in and I was like, fuck yeah. See, I'm cool with it, but like. If it's literally like cool, like the weather's got to start to get a little less, not 98 degrees. I got a hoodie on. Okay, I'm cool with it. It's a good comfort fall drink. I get it. But right. Second week in August. That's crazy. So for me to get it regularly, I'm there with you. But just the fact that it was different from their standard lineup, it was like. You know, our limited time release. I was like, yeah, I'm done getting Columbia. Yeah. And they're they're like sea salt, whatever bullshit they've had there is started out good. But uh, it's some uh some basic white bitch stuff there, man. All right, so before we get All into right. your thing, before we get well, well into that <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. We have a we have a follow up. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So does she already know what we're going to ask her? No, no, I have no idea. So, Jenna, okay. if you listen to any of our episodes, you would know. I don't hmm. listen to your episodes. <laughs> well, fuck you for that. Well, let's start off with let's start off with Jenna. What do you uh, what do you do for a living? I am a police officer. Police officer. Okay. David, you want to hit her with the question? So last week we discussed. Uh, police and law enforcement and defunding the police and police reform 
uh, and a lot of other stuff. And mm-hmm. I had asked Chris if he was a cop and his mom had committed a crime, would oh, he God. turn her in? And he said yes. So that led into conversation about if I had called you and I said, Jenna, I accidentally just killed someone. Uh, I fled the scene. I need your help. What are you doing? Telling you to turn yourself in. And if I don't. Thank you. <laughs> if you don't, I am very bad at keeping secrets and acting normal. And I would cave in two seconds. We Is that not it, what dude. I said? I said, I said she'd go into work and her boss would be like, hey, Jenna, how are you today? And she'd be like, my brother just killed someone. <laughs> I think she's the type of person that's like, okay, I won't say anything, but if they ask me, I'm going to say it. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then she goes into work the next day and she's like, my brother killed someone. <laughs> no, I don't seek that at all. I think I do. <laughs> my brother killed someone. <laughs> it Jenna, was how you doing? Like, oh, my brother killed someone. It wasn't me. I didn't know about it. She wouldn't even it. have yeah. to be asked. Yeah. No, I yeah. literally, I, and I also just started watching the show Your Honor. That's a good show. Yeah, and what in the first episode, I'm thing. like, okay, I actually hate this, and I want to stop watching, but I'm going to keep watching it anyways. I'm on you episode two, and it's still ma- it's still making me mad. But it's it's Brian Cranston. So so if David that, told you that, accent? would he? Um, and he was like, I did this like three hours ago. Would you just immediately be like, you fucking idiot? What are you doing? Go turn yourself in. Why are you not at the police station right now? Like. Is that your yeah, reaction? I, I, don't think, I don't think that was ever him. a question. Okay. But if, but I, I, would go if I don't go, though. If you don't go and what, you tell me like later on? No, if I'm just like, if I call you and I'm like, hey, uh, I need your help. This happened. Are you like, okay, uh, you need to do this. You need to do like not turning yourself in. You need to do this. You need to do this. Or are you like, fuck that. Sarge, uh, my brother just uh, <laughs> murked this chick. <laughs> No, because even if I did, well, it's a little different because we're in different counties. So well, I have we absolutely weren't. no jurisdiction. Right. Okay. If we were in the same county, I'd probably call my Sarge only because he'd also have my back. Yeah, but would he yeah. have mine? You said what? But would he have mine? <laughs> yeah, so I would go in with you. But I'm not going in. That's what I'm saying. No, you're going in. Hard no. No, you're going in. You're going to be the next body with that attitude. <laughs> Chris and I would both make you go in. Like, you're also, going in. The next question, how does somebody have your back if you've murdered somebody? Like, you can't do much to protect someone who's killed somebody, can you? Like, that's yeah, like... It's, it's, called, it's called providing an alibi. No, it's, it I... could have done that. I'm he was with me. you, I could not keep a straight face if I did anything wrong. Yeah, but if we lied with an alibi, that's accomplice, right? Yeah. Then well, that's don't part of having your you back. did and keep your alibi. Uh, Make well, sense? I need someone to <laughs> confirm my alibi because I'm not going to investigate you myself. Right. But if someone's like, where were you on this day at this time? Like, oh, I was with my sister uh, at the movies. You what having my like back is like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would have a bad, bad conscience. <laughs> She's I already having a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I literally go home at the end of the night sometimes and think about reports I wrote earlier in my shift and I'm like, God damn it, I forgot to put that in it. And then it kills me my entire night's sleep. Hmm. Well hopefully. So it doesn't. I'm like, oh damn, my brother just killed someone and he didn't turn himself in. I wouldn't be able to sleep. I couldn't. Hmm. And then I'd probably call dad. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if we call dad and said, Hey, this just happened, does he have our back? Dad's got nothing to lose. He's no. got our back. Hell no. Nah, I think he's got our back. He's got I'm nothing to lose. I'm saying he does. I'm saying he does. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Dad's got her back. You're back. It depends. Dad, and then you call mom, like, oh, and mom's like, David. yes, my son and daughter were at the movies together. Yep. Yeah. Mom oh, yeah. would mom would build up this elaborate story that is like. Not you know believable what, no, whatsoever. Not she believable. would ruin. She would ruin the alibi trying to make it believable. She would yeah. say something that would then cause it to not be true at all. But right. In in her heart, she was trying to help you. You know. She was trying. Yep. Yeah, yeah. She would always try. Uh huh. She'd be like, "Yeah, uh, he was at the house. I made uh, this uh, garlic herb 
and whatever hamburger helper and they'd be like yeah they haven't made that hamburger helper in like six years so we know this is bullshit <laughs> my mom probably still had that in her cabinet yeah that's true hmm. very well well um do you want to hit us with a story or are you on your way to happy hour well there's both i don't know the most interesting story i've had lately um I got no. It's, it's too not. It's not inappropriate. It's, it's too inappropriate. I can't. We 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 already mark it as. I just. I, I really don't. I, oh, let me hold on. Give me a second. I haven't worked Come in on, five days. Us, so help us make make fame. Ah, make fame. What's the last viral thing you saw that was appropriate? Viral. Oh, thing? you gotta give him that hawk. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I had a call last week where um, this lady's daughter stole her car. She's only 16, doesn't have a driver's license. So I show up. It's four o'clock in the morning. First of all, I'm like, what are you doing up at four o'clock in the morning? Like who who just wakes up and looks outside and sees her car's not there and then goes to her daughter's room and thinks her daughter's not there. Kind of weird, right? Like True. it's almost like your daughter does this normally, but this time you want to report her. So I'm having a conversation. She's a black female. I'm a white female. And she goes, oh, you showed up here knowing my daughter was black and you automatically didn't want to help me. I'm like, pretty sure it's not how that works. So whatever, we're filling out some uh, some paperwork because that's what you have to do when your car is stolen. And uh, she uh, is reading the questions back to me and she goes, am I behind on any payments? And she mumbles under her breath. Of course, you'd ask me this. I said, well, I'm not asking you anything. The paper's asking you. <laughs> So then I ask her some questions for the report and I'm like, do you work? And she's like, no, black people don't work. And I'm like, pretty sure nobody's making these accusations. You're just putting these words in my mouth right now. Mm -hmm. So we went back and forth, started yelling. My partner walks up and just stands there and laughs because he's just like, what's going on right now? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. We're just arguing because I'm white. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I I, I think uh, after, after further investigation, um, I'm, racist <laughs> yep and i'm still writing a report and trying to help you so this is weird i don't i don't know why this is happening oh lord lord yep. lord and you're a girl i don't think that helped either no that definitely didn't help it never helps that i'm a female mm, yeah yeah i can imagine people, people people see me and they're like yep we we don't like her she's she's white she's blonde she's little people tell and me she's all the time like i'm too pretty to be a police pounds, officer so. wet. yeah Meanwhile, so. my partner is a foot taller than me, so it makes it even more amusing. <laughs> Most of the population probably is. Well, okay. Nah, that's debatable. <laughs> Not foot. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that. Well, I'm, hey, here well, I'm glad I could be of uh, of of service. Yeah. Well, um, I know who I'm not calling if I ever kill someone. Me or yeah, Jenna? Just just your dad and in your mom. Seconds. No, mom. definitely call dad. Call dad. Yeah. Mom's a uh, bad decision, good intention. Yep, and dad's just got your back. Let's hope so. Just, just Not, think about that. Made, that makes it sound like I just killed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> he, he can smuggle you to Canada real easily, dude. Yeah. I'm yeah. starting to mm -hmm. think true. you did something that you kind of want to tell us now. <laughs> no, we just, this was a question for Chris and his mom last mm. week. Yeah. And then yeah. he had turned it around and asked if you would turn me in. Well, now you so know. I said, I don't know. Let's find out. I have your back as long as you don't tell me anything. Deal. Just don't tell me anything. <laughs> and we're good. Deal. Deal. Okay. Love you guys. Okay. Thanks, Love you Jenna. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to hang up. I don't know how oh, to hang up got, to you, Eddie. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good little bit for the end of it. I don't know how to hang up. Can you I end me? What kind of fucking English? <laughs> That goes that goes back to our discussion about how uh, the education requirements to be a police officer might need to be a little higher. I wouldn't call your sister dumb, though, by any sense. No, 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 no. You know what I would call her, though? Blonde white girl? A basic white bitch. Ooh, okay. Well, let's probably, see if she... Maybe not say bitch. I'll leave it in. Basic white girl. I have a sister. I'm allowed to say that. True. Okay, uh... I gave you this with a whole different mindset of the amount of time I would have today to prepare. Okay. I didn't have that time, so uh, I wrote some shit down, and we're going to wing it. Okay, and we're doing it draft style? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a basic white girl draft. 
anything and everything related to basic white chicks. David, I have a ton, just so you know. Uh, I like started thinking of a ton, and then I was like, well, I only get five. So, All right, with my first pick, I'll go with Starbucks. It's a great pick. Uh, it's definitely on my list, and it's um, it's kind of the epitome of it. Uh, I'm going to go with my first pick in the realm of fashion. I'm going to go with some Uggs as my number one pick for a basic white girl. I had some Uggs on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, with my second pick, I will go with yoga pants. Uh, great pick. You have stolen a couple that I really wanted. Um, okay. Um, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, next one, then I'm going to go with number two. You got, pick. Some, you got so many. I have so many. Um, is going to be, I'm going to go with pink or like, like love pink, like that brand. Like pink. that's Victoria's secret, right? I you just think specifically so. Specifically that the pink aspect of it. Yeah. It says like pink or it says love pink. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't going to do it, but I'll stick. I'll stick right there with you ish. Um, Mm -hmm. I think I know what's coming with my third pick. I'm going to go with live, laugh, love. Oh, that is a good pick. That is not what I thought you were going to say. Okay. Okay. Um, Shoot. All right. My number three pick is going to be. I'm going to go with the good old, I'm going to go with good old North Face. I'm going to go back to my brands. I got, I, they're all wearing clothes today on my side. Go with North okay. Face. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have that one. I didn't know. That goes, that goes back to the, are we old or is that just not oh, a no. thing anymore? Oh, no. Uggs, yoga pants, and a North Face. Psh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Basic. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Okay. Uh, with my fourth pick, I'm going to go with farmhouse decor. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Um, just like that, that wood type and color. And then those like, uh, like the sliding barn doors instead of like a standard open and closed door. I might, be, to, a, I might be a ba- basic white dude. Cause that sounds great. It might be. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to get out of my um, clothing and go number four pick. Hey, this, I don't think we can put that on YouTube. <laughs> um, number four pick, I'm going to go with not just a phone, but an iPhone. So on my list, I had not just a phone, not just an iPhone, but a white iPhone. Oh, that's good. Do they even make white anymore? I don't think they do. I don't know. Like they make pink and they make tan the and rose gold. gold and rose gold. And yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. All right. Um, what you got? With my last pick, I'm going to go with Coachella. Oh, so that kind of coincides with my last pick um, in the music realm. Um, and I'm going to go with my last pick is uh, Taylor Swift. I thought about that. Mm-hmm. But I figured she was so popular Basic. that oh <laughs> yeah just like every like it i feel like she started out as basic white chick but evolved into like my boss is like a huge taylor swift fan which is weird no i'm sorry yeah well hmm. um do you want any more off my fucking huge list i got here uh yeah hit me with some of what you got okay so i had that that little roller lip balm thing that like rolls on your lips um scented candles pinterest instagram uh diet coke uh juice cleanses uh nicholas sparks mean girls uh froyo uh the kardashians chipotle Katy perry uh pretty little liars uh one tree hill gossip girl in quotes i can't even um and one direction okay i ha- i saw a lot of those almost wrote them down uh i think Oh, I thought I had scented candles. Like I said, and you know, I almost wrote down scented candles, and I was like, "Wait, didn't Chris talk about his candles one time?" I love my candles. Yeah. So I, I, might, I, I look. I like the barn doors. I got my scented candles. I yeah. Might, I, did, I didn't I think I would be, do too good with you on that. I might one, be so. sliding into this category. I do. I do like North Face. So <laughs> mm. well, I, think, I think we all you know. did. Yeah. 
But I don't have um, any leggings or Uggs, so, you know. No. So the ones I had that you had left off, I had pumpkin spice. I had avocado toast. Mm, okay. I had succulents. Can you um, elaborate on what that means? Yeah, they're the little, uh, you know, you go to like Lowe's and you're checking out and in the aisle, there's like those little tiny little plants that you don't ever have to water. That they look like little cactus things. That that looks like a big succulent. Is it? I mean, they I guess they make them big. Is that too big? I don't know if that's a succulent. It's also not real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I had TikTok trends, yoga, and essential oils. Oh, those are good. Those are all good. I think they were yeah. all solid. Um, but I yeah. think the clothing and Starbucks and a phone, that's it. Yeah. Definitely yes. it. So who do we think won? Because I was mainly outfit. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess that's up to the the voters. They can't comment anything about Tom Brady on this one, so we might we get also a winner. Probably don't get a lot of views from um, basic <laughs> white, white chicks, white females. <laughs> yeah, they're not exactly lining up to watch the Poor Choice show. So uh, yeah, there's got to be like three or four of them. So we'll see. One we'll one see. vote might take the win on this one. We'll see. Uh huh. Well, speaking of speaking of women, yeah. If every woman was wiped from existence, how long until you go gay? Me or like humanity? You. I mean, humanity has uh, humanity would take an hour. But you personally <laughs> be real quick. Um, yeah, that'd be a good question for someone that's like. Sentenced to life in jail, do they just never have anything again or do they finally go? All right, I've had enough. Like, well, I think a lot of times in in prison too you don't really have a choice well like let's willingness say isn't an option let's say you're a big bad mofo and you're going in there and then finally you're going in there for life and then finally you're just like all right i've had enough or do you just stay the straight and narrow and you're like hell no i think um, it's a good question to ask you because you're straight and not in prison and <laughs> this is aren't true. watching your back <laughs> or dropping the soap <laughs> On the daily. Dude, I literally dropped the soap yesterday and it landed right on my toe and it's like a 14 ounce jug. Ooh. Oh, it was the worst. Mm. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know. How, I don't know specifically, how, how long, but, but years. How long until head is head? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know specifically, but I'm going to say just years in general. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is like from existence. So you can't go watch like porn of a chick. Like that's damn. Wiped. Gotta go buy me a Sears catalog or something. <laughs> no, that's gone. Whenever this Shit. happens, those pages are gone. I'm just gonna have to start drawing stuff from memory. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that Theo Vaughn skit where he's talking about the dude who would draw like pussies and stuff like that and like boobs uh, and like he would charge people for his drawings like five bucks a pop? Yeah, I think so. That sounds familiar. <laughs> it's like I go to the woods. I can feel it burning in my pocket on the bus, and I go to the woods and. Oh man, he drew him so good. Uh, <laughs> that ain't right, dude. That ain't right. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going years. Years. Going okay. Years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm. Could be one. It could be fifty. Yeah, going well, years. Yeah. No, it could be two it could, or fifty. It couldn't be one. That'd be a year. That'd be a year. Yeah, it can't be one years. Right. It just. It just can't. Hmm. How about you? I think I'm I think I'm there too. I don't know if I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I I think closing my eyes and imagining would probably fare better for me than drawing something to, <laughs> yeah, to I can't look draw. at. You're right. I can't draw for <laughs> shit. It'd be a stick figure with two with like yeah. a big W on their chest. Right. <laughs> she had those Madonna Madonna uh -huh. pointers. Uh uh. -huh. Um Yeah. I think I think I could last a while. But at some point, something's got to give. No homo. Well, homo, but. Is it homo not. at that point? It's got to. I think by definition, it has to be. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. By definition, it is. Yeah, not that's a good point. Not from the viewpoint of society. Yeah. And if it's just dudes, I'll tell you what. 
I think there'd be, I don't know. <laughs> where, you, where are you going with this? Well, my first thought was a lot less violence, and I went, wait a minute, that's a dumb thing to say. Yeah, because there'd be so much pent up sexual aggression. No, just in, in just the grand scheme of humanity, how much war there is, it's all just dudes doing it. Uh, well, th- domestic yeah, violence would go down. Mm-hmm. Without the, the women, though, everybody would be so much less stressed out. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. So I, because I, I, I took this from the idea from an, something else I had seen, and it said, um, like, there's no women for 24 hours. What are you doing? And like, all the responses were like, just enjoying peace and quiet. And it was like, whatever I want for the first time. And so I just nah, think everybody would be are, so less stressed. But those are bullshit answers because you can do that anyways. Eh, you should get married. No, because I Why can not? do whatever I want. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. When I want to. Those people um, that aren't. Yeah. You get listen, what I'm saying. That's, that's a choice. It's a choice, man. Yeah. My point is you don't, you're not going to get divorced so you can enjoy 24 hours of peace and quiet. So if everyone's gone for a day, you just. Yeah, but also if you're in a solid marriage, you could just be like, hey, babe, I need like a day. Just to hang out, do nothing on the couch, or go outside yeah. and ride my dirt bike, or do do whatever you want to do. What it's a good marriage. Dirt bike. I don't know. I was just thinking of random shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you rode a dirt bike? Uh, sixth grade, and I fell. Real Jeez, hard. I got. I don't have enough fingers to count how long ago that was. Two thousand and one, or two thousand, two thousand, two thousand one. Sure. I believe it was it. a year. It was a year. Uh, 9-11 was a thing. Never forget. Yeah. Sixth grade. Yeah. 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 I thought we were in. S- Are you sure about that? Was it seventh? Yeah. Could have final been. answer. I don't know how old your list. 2008 again. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked. So when I was listening to the podcast this morning, um, I had to go into work. Um, just to do some some admin stuff, and I just brought my laptop and you know put in AirPods and yeah. listen to the the podcast. And like every now and then, I would just kind of like, <laughs> and like people around me are looking at me like, all right, like, like what the hell are you doing? Like calm down, guy. Like yeah, like what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. well, did you tell him? Yeah. No, I just kept to myself and cracked. My, I cracked myself up. You cracked me up too. It was it was those a are, great podcast. Those are missed followers. Dude, the only thing they're following is the ARP line. Like, <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about. I thought you were talking about the employees. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't think our uh, our sixty five to seventy five analytics are very high. Mm-mm. But I will tell you, my eighty eight year old grandma still texts me. Texts me. So it's that's so funny you brought that up. So grandma just learned how to text. Well, <laughs> that's is a great learning how sentence. To, that's is, a great is, sentence. Is learning how to text in 2024? That is such a funny sentence. <laughs> and so she she texts Kayla yesterday, like asking her how Zoe is, and she yeah, meant to say yeah. like uh like how's my beautiful angel, but she sent like how's my beautiful llama. <laughs> <laughs> and Kayla, I don't. Kayla was doing something, so she like didn't respond right away. And I think because she didn't respond right away, Grandma like started freaking out and was like, "Oh my god, I think I upset her. I called her baby a llama." <laughs> so she called her, uh, and that's when she was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just starting to figure this out." It's like, well, hey, Zo- just... Zoe's got the hair to be a llama, man. Yeah, girl. Yeah, more like a my goodness, like a, a pony. <laughs> okay like just got like it's like i don't know i'm not even gonna try all right we're back with more how these nfl teams got their names the nfc north first we got the vikings any guesses um hmm. well they discovered america maybe that's as far west as they got was like the minnesota area so they named them the vikings or oh, yeah they discovered that who dis- didn't we? Who discovered yeah, Le- America? Leif Erikson. Hanga danga dargan. Yeah, he's he was a. That's right. Yeah. Um. Uh. Maybe. Okay. I have. 
Founded in 1960 as an expansion team, the team began play the following year. They are named after the Vikings of medieval Scandinavia, reflecting the prominent Scandinavian American culture of Minnesota. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, that was, was my maybe. Like, you might be right. Yeah, I only have after. Yeah. Because Canada is technically America. So, I mean, yeah. We'll take it. Okay. Yeah. What's the opposite yeah. of united? Um, divided. Okay. I thought you were going to say like Delta or Spirit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Southwest. <laughs> South bitch. Yeah. Hawaiian Airlines. Yeah. 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 So, so Canada would be like the divided state of America. I like that actually. Yeah. They're not even a real country anyway. Like rude. No, nah, that was a South Park reference anyways. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's try this one. This, uh, I want to save that one for last. All right. Any guesses on the Packers? Um, I'm going to say in Wisconsin, they have, um, some factories and they pack a lot of stuff there in that state. You're probably right. I think, okay. uh, most states, especially with the rise of Amazon, probably a lot of factories and packing happening. Yeah. But not back when the Packers were founded, which was in 1919, mm. Curly Lambeau and George Calhoun organized a football team that achieved success against amateur teams in Wisconsin. Lambeau, who worked for the Indian Packing Company, convinced his employer to fund the team's uniforms, giving the team the nickname Packers. With Lambeau as head coach and halfback, the Packers joined the American Professional Football Association, which became the NFL in 1922. In 1921, despite financial difficulties, the team became a public, publicly owned nonprofit corporation, supported by the people of Wisconsin, and remains so today. So I think I got it. Yeah, I think so. Can you read those names again to me? Curly Lambeau. Yeah. And, and George Calhoun. Oh, okay, that was normal. But just that name is like, oh, he's from like the 20s. <laughs> yeah, well, the ni 1919. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a guy named Curly, come on. Curly, yeah. And Mo. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this one we talked about previously. Do you have any guesses on the Bears? Um, when, when gingivitis was on, I think we talked about it. We did. That was, what, a couple months ago at least. Um, the Bears were... Based off of the Cubs, the guy who founded the Bears was a Cubs fan. No. Damn. OK. So in 1920, football franchises cost one hundred dollars and players earned an average of one hundred and twenty five dollars per game. I spend that on beer at a football game. Ooh. Yeah. Fun fact. In 1921, after a business downturn, A.E. Staley paid George Hallis five grand to move the team to Chicago and retain the name Staley's for one season. The team shared territorial rights with the Racine Cardinals and Chicago Tigers. Hallis made Ed Dutch Sterneman his partner and head coach. The team played at Cub Park, which was later named Wrigley Field, and was uh. renamed the Bears because football players were seen as bigger than baseball players. Okay, so I, I remember the Cubs correlation, but yeah, gotcha. Okay, okay. That's, I mean, it's a, it's a solid reasoning for it. It's not just like, oh, there's bears up here. We'll name yeah. them the bears. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, another part of it I read was like, you, you don't see rampant bears running through Chicago. So, right, right. And last and certainly least, the Lions. Ah, uh, geez. I'm going to say. When they were founded in 1922, um, that's when MGM also, this, the, the film company, came out. And he really liked that lion roar right at the beginning. of rawr. And he went, ooh, what a fierce animal. I'm going to name my football team that. So do you, what was the year you said? I don't know, 1922? Two. Okay. Sure. So a couple things. Uh, do you think there was the technology back then that they could have put that rawr, like on the screen? Oh, that's from like like the forties, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Um, no, they they actually like filmed a lion. With yeah. Its head. Yeah, yeah. But it's later. You're right. You're right. But you're also almost right. Uh, oh. MG, MGM. Well, not about the name. Not at all. Uh. Whatsoever. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> but uh, MGM was founded in 1924. So, see, listen. very close. 
However, uh, the Lions is probably the most ironic of all of the teams that have been named. Okay. In 1934, radio executive George A. Richards purchased the Portsmouth Spartans for $8,000 and relocated the team to Detroit, renaming them the Detroit Lions. Richard chose the name to symbolize the team as the king of the NFL, akin to the lion being the king of the jungle, and to create a connection with the city's baseball team, the Detroit Tigers. Hmm. So named, okay. named to, to symbolize being the king of the NFL only to 80, almost, yeah, 90 years later be one of the most disappointing franchises in <laughs> NFL history. Yeah, arguably the most. Um, yeah. 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 So. Sucks to suck. There you have it. Okay. Yeah. We had a discussion at work today. Uh about whether or not the correct term was partook or partaken? Um, hmm. It depends on the... It doesn't. There's a correct answer. Oh, is there? I'm going yeah. to say it's partook. It is partook. Okay. And I want to say, I didn't read this, but my thought... Because you could say why... partake, but that's present tense, and partook would be past. Right. right. My thought as to why that's correct... Is because partake in sounds like partake in. Like I'm going to partake in this. Or, but what if I said I had partaken in? No, you'd say <laughs> I had partook. Yeah. It's a good name for part- a dog or something. Partook. Part- partook. It sounds like Ryu. Partooken. Partooken. <laughs> <laughs> and who was that green dude who was always like, he had the red hair? What was that guy's name? Blanca. Blanca. That's another good name for like a like a a cat. Yeah, a white cat. Even yeah. though he was green and red. Yes. Yeah, he was a real angry ginger. He was like yeah. the worst. Yeah. It's like if the hawk had red hair and could shoot fire. Do you want to do a draft of the all-time NFC North team? Yes. Excellent. Right. I do. I do. I kind of do. I kind of do. Yeah. It's like really good. And then you're like, "Mm." it's not great. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Well, we're going to do an all time NFC North draft with my first pick. I'm going to take running back Barry Sanders. I see. I knew you were going to do that. Fucks my whole fucking shit up. (laughs) (laughs) I'm here for you. There's only one option, right? Yeah. With my first pick, I am going to go wide receiver Randy Moss, Minnesota Vikings. With my second pick, I'm going to go with tight end Mike Ditka. You're really playing with fire here, David. (laughs) (laughs) Delete all this. Delete all that. (laughs) All right. Well, with my second pick um, at running back, I'm going to go Walter Payton. Okay. Okay. With my third pick, I'm going to go with quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Delete that. I saved you the other one. Yeah, well. I also, all right. Um, fudge. <laughs> you, Man, you my still... tight end is coming in real hot. I'll tell you what. Well, might as well, might as well just save it. I'm not just going to go with that guy. All right, so with my third pick, I am going to go Brett Favre. No, I can't because you took Aaron Rodgers. No, you can. We've never uh, made that rule. You yeah, just can't, you can't take the, the same, same team. You just can't take the same player. We never made a rule that you can't take I another. Could've... But we've never. No, we haven't. We haven't had to. I feel like it should be a rule. Well, it can't be now because I only have one position left and it's. <laughs> Someone from a, a team, team I, yeah. <laughs> I already took. Um, you're taking a Viking? Got to. That's all I got left. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's like the fourth best one ever. So with my third pick, I'm going to go Brett Favre for quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. With my last pick, I'm going to go with wide receiver Chris Carter. 
And my last pick, uh, the well-known tight end in Detroit, I got to go with uh, Charlie Sanders. Wow, what a great pick. <laughs> that guy I'd that I know so much about. <laughs> I'd, have gone, I'd have gone Hawk, dude. Yeah. Or Dan Campbell. <laughs> Charlie's their all-time greatest, according to the internet. <laughs> he is. I saw that, and I was like, I don't know this motherfucker. I almost, almost took one for the team so I could take Jimmy Graham a third time. Yeah, I had so I had Greg Olson over Jimmy. Yeah, the Bears. well, I had Mike Ditka over both of them, but yeah. I figured it would just be. I also kind of sort of wanted Megatron over Randy, but uh, no, you didn't. I mean, it depended how I drafted. You fucked everything up by taking. Yeah, well, what, what you did. I'm here for you. Ugh, apparently not. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently here you're the. To... <laughs> It's funny because I've been I've been thinking about this one for days and like in during all my thought I had Randy first and then I started like actually looking at it and I was like, mm, yeah. then I'm gonna be fucked. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think you did as bad as you you thought. No, it's, you it's, think. it's a good team except for I mean Charlie's an all time great and I've just never you know I'm sure Lions fans are like oh yeah Charlie Sanders but I just you know yeah the Bears oh, the Bears are so bad. Historically. Yeah, I had to go Brandon Marshall and uh, Jim McMahon. Didn't even didn't even put him. I knew there was no. I I knew that the only person I was taking from the Bears <laughs> was a tight end. Um, no, no, no shade at Walter. Just I knew I was taking yeah, Barry. So I was yeah. like, I was, I'll figure yeah. the rest out. Because I could have gone Megatron and AP at running back, and then yeah. gone Greg Olson. And Favre, yeah, yeah, but I think Walter and Randy are better than AP yeah. and Megatron. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Good draft. We haven't found a winner in the past like six drafts though, because people just don't comment who won. Yeah, they but just comment how. How could you not? We are. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't take this guy that was there for one year and had four hundred yards. Wow. Yeah. What did Chris comment on Instagram? To. I don't know. <laughs> He said no one took to you when we did the uh, oh yeah the like, West and I'm like uh what you ever heard of this guy? <laughs> it's this dude named Jerry Rice. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's alright. He's alright. So we're gonna do uh, the weirdest sports superstitions numbers twenty through eleven. Oh, all right. So at number twenty, we had Jason Terry, who wears the shorts of his opponents on nights before games. So he sounds s- very. He sleeps in the shorts of his opponents. Sounds very serial killer esque, but yeah, or okay. like, like, uh, like a Genghis Khan kind of thing. Like I'm gonna wear my enemy's skin. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, Richie Ashburn, who looks like an old Phillies player, uh, slept with his bats. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, number eighteen is Patrick Roy, who looks like a goalie for the Avalanche, had full fledged conversations with his goalposts. That's a, I think that's more of a disorder than a superstition. And then they asked him why, and he said, because they are my friends. Yeah, disorder sounds right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Too many pucks in the face. Uh, number 17, also a goalkeeper for, it looks like, the Flyers. He's got that old school, like, Jason mask on. Pele Lindbergh? Or Pele Lindbergh? I don't know. He drank Prips beer during every intermission. Uh, number 16, Wade Boggs ate chicken before every game. Okay. I would, there you go. I would, uh, I'd wager that's 85% of athletes. Uh, Wayne Gretzky at number 15, baby powder at the end of his stick prior to face off. I mean, that's just for good grip. Yeah. That's I don't weird. like this list. Uh, 14, uh, Stefan Labou chewed a copious amount of gum before every game. Yeah, it's not that great. Uh, number 13, Goran... Ivanazovic would repeat the events of a day if he won a match during a tournament. Moises Alou, number 12, he peed on his own hands to harden them. <laughs> the f- fuck? <laughs> There's so much wrong with that. And number 11, rounding hmm. out the next 10, is Les Miles um, for LSU eats turf during games. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. It's uh it's different. Yeah. Hmm. How bizarre. Do 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 Ooh, baby. 
Every time I look around, whoa, oh, I pee in my face. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. How, how do you get copyrighted? Like if we say the same words in the same sequence, or is it like sound? If you, yeah, if you sing the lyrics verbatim with like the same like tone um, tone for a certain amount of time, probably the same as like playing a song, then yes. Huh. It's not long. I think it's like eight seconds or something like that. Or maybe even less. So but it doesn't even have to like sound the same. It just has to be the same words in the same yeah. tone. That's also if you're monetized when you really got to start worrying about that. Yeah. Well, we could sing whatever we want right now. You don't get. Well, yeah, but it still pops up as. So like when I upload the videos, oh, it'll it goes say through like the uploading processing. Yeah. And then I hit next and it's like add the end, uh, you know, like subscribe button, whatever. And then Did the we next get is hit? like. For um, when I wrapped just the two of us remix from Austin Powers, I don't think so. Can you can you copyright a copywritten song? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Be like singing a weird out so, song. Though. Yeah. Well, no, because his are no. He just yeah. I don't know. That's a good. But uh, he actually good, it's like it's question. like a produced label. Like You're his right. songs actually come out on. Like and albums, it's different lyrics and probably different beats in the background. So it's yeah. probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, this week I am drinking from um, Sun Lab. I am drinking Sun Craze, which is a sour ale berry blaze. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Uh, sour ale brewed. A uh, sour ale brewed with ha, ha, blue, ha. blueberry, raspberry, <laughs> blackberry, and boysenberry. And this is coming from Miami, Florida. Great, great, great city in Miami. Yeah. I don't know how uh, great, but it's not that great. It's not. Traffic sucks. Oh, the beer or Miami? It's overpriced. No, the beer, Miami. The beer? Oh. <laughs> My question remains. It's very, very sour. It's very sour, but it's really good. I could drink this like all night. It's I mean, it's great. Uh, I'm going to give it a good eight and a half. Solid. Okay. It's solid. Solid. It's liquid, solid. But yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's good. It's very good. Well, this week I have from Prairie Artisan Ales once again. Oh, spicy pickle monster. <gasps> oh, you got a pickle one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It's my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, uh, uh, what, what did I think it was? White. Oh, uh, beaver's anal gland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is a sour ale with spicy dill pickles, orange, lemon, and lime. Brewed in the same place that we said all the other <laughs> prairie artisan ales were brewed. <laughs> I wonder if that's because you remember I had a pickle one uh, maybe a month ago. Yeah, I don't think it was the same. No, it wasn't. It was like it was literally like drinking straight up pickle juice. I'm wondering if yours is the same. It is. And it's spicy. See, I like that. It lives up to the name. I like the spiciness, but can't drink a lot of them. I just well, I mean, I could I'm going to drink all of them. (laughs) I just don't know if I can break eight on a jar of pickle juice not good so i'm gonna give it a seven nine okay still respectable yeah it's good yeah. it's just it's it's pickle it, juice it's pickly like why would i buy this when i can just put some like vodka and some pickle juice and a little bit of spice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. I, f- I feel like tim allen in the santa claus with his shirt on oh, 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 oh. why you know that scene when he like shows up to work and he's in it like all sweats. Yes. And they're like, what happened? He's like, oh, it's a bee sting. It was a very big bee. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like Tim Allen right now. And now I need okay. to order <laughs> a, a chocolate sundae with the little nuts on top. Okay. That's all I got for 10 points. What was the name of the waitress at Denny's in Santa Claus? Martha. Mm, it wasn't Martha. Hmm. Okay. He says, hello, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Judy. Uh, that was Doug's sister's name. 
Yes, it was. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. I'm here all week. Hello, Judy. Hmm. I'll have chocolate milk, please. We're out. Regular milk's fine. Sorry. And that's that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. So this week on Ask Reddit, I have what's a social habit everyone seems to accept, but you find really annoying. Smoking cigarettes. Hmm. I think that has gotten less as the years keep going. Like when we were growing up in the 90s, you could smoke wherever the hell you wanted. Yeah. Restaurant, bowling alley, Timbuktu. Yeah. Iowa, Winchesterton, Fieldville. Oh, with Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fell out of Boo Radley's apple tree. Uh huh. My dad built this house with his bare <laughs> with hands. With his bare hands. <laughs> Okay, well, to get me a little more modern, give me some inspiration. Okay, uh, so we've got um, people congregating in doorways, particularly when there is plenty of non-doorway space available. <laughs> non-doorway non space. <laughs> so like a building yeah. or, or a sidewalk outside. Yeah, 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 I yeah. get it. I get uh -huh. it. Okay. All right. Um, not everything has to be filmed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. Uh, people who stop. No, I, I, oh, I, I really oh, do oh, like oh, that one. Yeah, I do too. Because I, I had this not, you know, film everything. That's that's great. You know, you, you want the memories. But my biggest fucking irk with that is when people will just sit there for like 45 minutes straight and film fireworks. <laughs> like, yeah, because guess what? I've done that. Never going to watch that fucking video ever again. Nope. And you're missing out on the show. Yep. To watch I mean, I, it, I've even done it at like sporting events, and I've never rewatched the video I took at that sporting event. It, yeah, but you don't, you probably don't do like a clip, like you're not out there filming the whole game. True. Like it, it's like a 45 True. minute fireworks show, and the people are like, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna watch it on this three and a half inch screen instead of here and never look at this video again. And then <laughs> in three years, I'm gonna go, I'm running out of space on my phone, I'm gonna delete this. Yeah, maybe it's just one of those like now that we can do it, I'm gonna do it. And <laughs> but we've been able to it. do it for like a decade. Like, yeah, that's true too. Okay, all right, that's... I got a few more. Okay, uh, people who stop in the middle of a busy walkway to check their phones, it's like they think they've hit pause on the world. Okay, it's a good one. Uh, let's see, kid. Oh, this is a good one. Kids blasting whatever TV show on their iPads in the middle of a restaurant while I'm trying to eat. The kids can watch whatever. But somebody teach them to use headphones. That's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. Or to play on that, grown adults on the bus playing annoying games without the silent on their phone. And you just hear... I fucking hate when my phone makes noise, so I get that. Yep. Uh, how about being expected to be constantly available via social media, chat, text, call at any time, any hour. If you try to opt out, it's seen as weird or antisocial. Yep. It's a good one. Uh, yep. When people don't understand that listening is the most important part of the conversation. That's a good one. That's a yeah. really good one. Really good one. That's a wonderful choice. That's a wonderful choice. Uh, people think it's normal to stare at your phone when your friend slash acquaintance is with you, etc. I think it's disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Playing shitty music on their phone speakers. Yeah, we kind of got that one already. Uh, so, so if it's good music, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it's sealed, then you're good. Like, who doesn't like that song? Um, being on your phone while having an in-person conversation with someone. Like, hello, I'm right here. Yeah, being on your phone. That's very rude. If, like, someone's talking to you. Yeah. Uh, people who talk loudly on speakerphone in public. I can't stand that yeah fuck that uh let's see there's a lot i mean um at work if someone leaves early no one bats an eye but if you're just a few minutes late <laughs> you get in hot water just one of those interesting so uh societal yeah. norms i noticed yeah hey, it's 15 minutes before i'm done for the day i'm gonna get yeah. out of here all right have a good that's day that's okay but, but, but you're strolling at 7 late. 15 and they're like uh-huh that's a good one yeah i like that taking up as much space as physically possible for no reason move your fucking ass <laughs> sounds like fat shaming 
This is a good one. How are you? Good. You? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, no, just that's it. That's it. I, and I get that. That's just like that. Like you feel like you have to say this to start your conversation with somebody like, hey, how are you? Good. You good. Actually, my boss just called me and he was like, hey, Chris, how are you? I was like, good. How are you? He's like, good. But both of us could tell, like, obviously you're calling for a different reason. So that's that, the how are you? So part we can let's let's talk about that one. Didn't matter. It was just it was just fluff. So let's so let's talk about that. Because yes, I I agree with you that that's it's like a what's the word? It's just the polite thing to do. It's the polite thing to do, but it's like not an obligation. It's the norm. Yeah, but it's expected. It's to I don't maybe I'm just like so much more of like a not like over analyzer, but like in depth thinker than most people. But it's. It, it doesn't bother me. So, like, if you were to, if you and I had that conversation, you called me, you're like, hey, what's up? Or, like, how you doing? I'm like, good. How are you? You're like, good. I know that if I were to respond not doing so great, that you would halt all conversation. True, true. And that you would be like, hey, what's going on? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, like, it, it feels like a, like a forced or a push thing, but I don't feel that way when it happens with someone that I'm like, I know that if I had not said, like, I'm good. Then it would have been okay. If it's like a customer service representative or some shit like that, then I'm like, yeah, okay. Like that's this is what we got to do. But like, gotta it's get like through a, it, right? Yeah, like a friend or a colleague or something. I don't feel that way because I'm like, I know if I said not good, it would have been a different true. conversation. True. Okay, so it, it's kind of the start out like the I'm calling you for a reason, but at the same time, if you were to say something's not right, then my call right gets put that goes on, on the, the back burner. burner. Right. Ooh, I and said then side we, burner. You said back burner. I think back burner is no, correct. We like it different there. ways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Depends on if you're on a grill or a stove. You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I think that that's very valid points that yeah. it's, it's just there as a precursor to the conversation. But if it brings up something else, then it's, right. it's only bothersome if it comes from someone that could care less what my response was. Okay. Do you have any um, socially? Oh, yeah. oh, the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what? So socially, ex social habits. Everyone seems to accept, but you find annoying. I don't know if it's a social habit, but when people yeah, mine's not either. When people say um like forty five times during <laughs> or, a or conversation, like, like <clears throat> so we're we're still looking for a nanny, right? For a couple days a week, yeah. When Kayla goes back to work next week, so we we've been like phone interviewing people, and we had talked to one yesterday, and she seems like a good candidate. We're gonna have her over to meet her and all that, but she she has this like voice that I'm like, like she does she spoke David, professionally? Does she sound basic? Uh, she just sounds like young and immature. Okay. So Kayla was talking to her, and I'm like leaning over behind her on the couch with my head down, and I'm just like, like going like this. Mm -hmm. And after the call, Kayla's like, are you doing like, is that like green flags or red flags? And I was like, no, I was, I was counting how many times she said, um, or, uh, uh -huh. during the conversation. I was like, shit, shit. Like I said, she said a lot before I started counting, which is why I started counting. But from the point I started counting, it was 37. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> so you it's not really that? like a societal thing, but it's like, it's just Annoying. like, a, yeah, you ever I do that? it all the time, but. I don't know if mine's social either, but mine is, you know what I don't like is when people don't use a turn signal. I really, it really, now if you're in the turn only lane, cool, fine, whatever, but highway, use a turn signal. You need to get over and merge, use a turn signal. It's, it's the spots where it's necessary when people don't use it that are so fucking annoying to me. So annoying. I would, I'd guess it's mostly... Like Oldsmobiles and Lincoln Town Cars and Oldsmobile. BMWs. <laughs> Oldsmobile. Old people. It's Lincoln Town Cars, Oldsmobiles, and BMWs. And probably Teslas. Uh, yeah, about 50% of Teslas, I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So That so, is well. correct. Well, speaking of Teslas. Yeah. My ask right at this week is what is something people pretend to like but secretly hate? Oh, well, I don't like Tesla. Well, one of the responses on here was Tesla's, so. Pretend to like but secretly hate. I'm going to say IPAs. 
<laughs> okay. I'm well. So this is you guessing on the topic. What is something yeah. you pretend to like that you secretly hate that I don't like? Any social interaction ever? That was mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like yeah, being in public. Yeah. Just any any kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So some of the Reddit responses I have uh, LinkedIn. Can't believe all those guys that are excited about their work. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> uh, there's there's another one that might top that for you. Okay. Uh, we have being an adult. Yeah. No, because I can eat ice cream whenever I want. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> You probably could have when you were 17. True. Yeah. Uh, we have other people. Mm-hmm. It ties in with the, yeah. We have their in-laws. Ain't got them. We have IPAs. Bam. Um, we have their neighbor. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Tesla's. We have mm-hmm. Bob Dylan. Oh, I like Bob Dylan. <laughs> What? What's wrong with Bob Dylan? Are you pretending to? You know, he's, he's great music. What? That person's insane. So it says, Bob Dylan, take note that whenever he's discussed, it's the same thing. What a great poet. What you never hear is great singer, great performer, or great guitarist. And rarely is it great songwriter. A poet with that many sonic liabilities should do humanity a real solid and stay within the confines of the printed page. Yeah, I'm sorry, but whoever wrote that just doesn't like music. I mean, yeah, he's not a, he's not a good singer by any means, but he yeah. can put together a song. I'll tell you that much. Well, one of the responses was he did Humanity a real solid with his song Hurricane, which was the fourth most successful single of the decade and helped lead to a conviction of an innocent man being overturned. We'll have Bam. to look into that one. Bam. I kept off some of the... Uh, like less funny but true ones, um, like kale. <laughs> you know what? That's funny. I bought some kale chips the other day. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> you waste your money. Well, I when I went on vacation, it was like you know diet out the window, right? And then when I got back, right. it kind of continued. So I've been trying to get back into what I was doing before that. The out the window continued. No, the the eating right and healthy and you know the right foods okay. and not so you're getting back on yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and it was the worst nine dollars I ever spent. <laughs> nine. I, I tried a second one. I went. Now nah, you're going straight to the trash. I mean, come on, man. Publix so, kale chips. Come on, nine dollars. They say you got to uh, you got to make sure you use a condom, olive oil. Oh. On when you when you make kale because oh. it makes it, it makes it easier to scoop into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's tied Fun with fact. the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I would have said that one to you before. Oh, no, I never heard that. That's really good. With that said, the next one is the socks their grandma gave them when they were twelve. Mm. Pretend to love it. Yeah, I get it. Oh, socks. Oh, an avocado. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, we we have whiskey. Nah, that's bullshit. I love whiskey. <laughs> that's bogus. I never pretended to like it, but it seemed like something I would do. That's so good. Um, we have cilantro. Love so- what? What the uh, fuck is this list? Too. Unless they have that thing where it tastes like soap, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we have Lacroix. It tastes like the Burger King soda machine shit itself. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had one in my life, if I'm being honest. Uh, someone commented on it and said, LaCroix is battery acid flavored water. Is it that bad? I don't know. I think I've only had like one, maybe like the, I know Andy drinks it a lot. I've that never Pample had mousse? one. Oh, Pomple Moose. Mm. Pomple, whatever. It's I like a them. grapefruit. I, pampers, I don't not even know why pompers. I know that, but it's grapefruit flavored. Sparkling water, the Pomplamoosa one. Okay. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know why I know that. Hey, Debbie, he's doing that thing again. <laughs> oh, is that Debbie? <laughs> and, the, and the last one is God. 
Well, I didn't really have a choice as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so we pretended, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I mean, when you're a kid, you know, when they tell you something, you go, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Not a great description based on uh, all those accusations made towards priests in yeah, recent decades. I just, um, I still when you're think a kid, that, you just do what you're told. <laughs> I think, I still think it's a good, um, like, just like, like, like the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts for me, I think church and Sunday school, I still think it's a good thing for a kid to grow up with. Yeah. As far as just, as far as yeah. just life and lessons and just learning. It's just, just hope they don't it's, like take it's a, a huge interest in it and like no. delve deep into the, I mean, it's, it's just a good, it's a good solid foundation for a kid to do those kind of things. It is from a, from a morals standpoint. Right. Exactly. But, the, the golden rule, you know, there's a lot right. of stuff that comes out of it, but right. as far as diving into it, oh, yeah, yeah, you get to start because it's if you we'll have to do it. We need to start taking note of all these like episode things we need to do because it's very uh, cult esque. Yeah. So if you don't, you know, yeah, yeah, you get those all those priests like, hey, put this in your mouth and Jesus will forgive. OK, your okay. Sins. okay, calm down. OK, <laughs> OK. All right. Whoa. whoa. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot to say it's the body of Christ. <laughs> I was more so going with like, hey, just show up to church every Sunday. <laughs> put this in your mouth. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I'm saying is if you start diving too deep into it, you start like morals go out the window kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. For sure. Well, I think uh I think we both enjoyed this last time. So I want to do it again. Okay. You're gonna pick two numbers. The first number oh. being a person. <laughs> and the second number being a scenario. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, give me three and three. All right, that's gonna be Joe Biden requesting time off of work. So I want you to hack out Joe Biden requesting time off of work. Okay. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> Who are you calling? <laughs> my boss to request my time off. <laughs> he just walked down to his office. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I don't even know who, okay. who am I. Okay, all right, I'll walk down. Hello? Who, who's his boss? <laughs> Hello? Are you, are you coming to my office or are you calling? I'll come in the office, okay. Okay. Come in. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Betsy, how you doing? Um, it's not... It's not Betsy, Joe. I'm okay. your wife. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, I was outside earlier and I, and I saw the, the sun came out and, and I, I just thought about that first time that I, I was in the, the field. Joe, did, did you take your meds today? And, and anyways, and there was, is that a new, what is that? Is that a new? Joe, you got me this bracelet in 1950. Oh, not that was a great year. That was that year that that I uh, that I came ac across on the Mayflower, and 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 I had that little pilgrim girl. She she just rubbed all over my legs. Joe, you're you're thinking of Christopher again. I do need off for Columbus Day. Columbus Day, that's coming up. Uh, did you have did you have plans, Joe? I th that's my birthday. I thought you were taking me out. Was Betsy, listen. I how are you it's, today? It's, it's it's not it's not Betsy, Joe. We've been married for forty five years. Oh, uh, it's J Jill. Jill, remember? I do remember like, we got married in Philadelphia. I do like green Jello. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Anyways, um, I just want to make sure that. Uh, you got your voicemail set up the right way because I just <laughs> thought about mine and it's 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 not what I Joe, wanted. <laughs> Joe, why why do you need help for Columbus Day, sweetie? There's there's a lot of time to to take for uh for you know you gotta you gotta you gotta boil them. 
and then and then after that, you gotta smash them and then cover them in the and you just salt and pepper and the Joe, oil. Joe, Joe, honey, I I threw I threw those eggs out two weeks ago. That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. (laughs) Oh, that was that was great. Anytime you spoke about something, I just immediate (laughs) left field. (laughs) (laughs) That was perfect. That was so good. All right, I got a game for you, David. All right, let's do it. All right, it's gonna be you make the face, I make the sound, and we're and we're gonna alternate. So you do a face, I do the sound, then I'll do a face, you do the sound. You know, I, I, I heard this exact one, mm-hmm. and I, I like 10 things came to mind, and now that I'm on the spot, I'm like... All right, well, then I'll, I'll make the face first. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. Was so I drift, no. drift in my car? Okay. Or, yeah, I think you were an Asian lady <laughs> slamming on the brakes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. Did I get the, oh, you're not going to tell me what it really was? I was going to be like, ooh. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go with. <gasps> oh. That works. Okay. It was like right before Voldemort, the Vatican average. He's like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> okay. 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 We're gonna me, go with. Give me another. Gonna go with. One more time. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What What were you going for? I was going with. Whoa. Ah, uh, eh, close enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Go ahead. Oh, uh, that's uh, that's a solid. I was going for it. <laughs> <laughs> you must have hocked to it before that. Huh? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. All right, all right. I'm gonna go with um. What you talking about, Willis? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really a noise. That's like a words, but that's good. Yeah, well. Okay. That's, that's all I got. I think I was going to go with um, like a... Uh, you didn't show teeth, though. You know, there's no teeth. Yeah, well, when the dog has the bone in the mouth and you're pulling on it, they're going... Mm, okay. How about this? There it is. There it is. All right. All right. I'll hit you with one more here. Um, How about uh, a little bit of. Uh, I don't know about the, the noise, but. <laughs> it looks like an esports kid's <laughs> reaction when his mom <laughs> busts in on him while he's jerking it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. My, my brother didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Uh, my own sister don't even have my back. <laughs> uh, I was yeah, you're you're kind of right because I was going with like a oh so yeah 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 yeah. We're gonna try to say the same word. <laughs> Zero context here. <laughs> yeah, it's totally random. <laughs> like it could be literally anything. <laughs> And Frank. Wait, did she get caught? <laughs> <laughs> like in real life or in, in oh, our yeah, story? Yeah, no, in real life. Wait, did she? Or no. Yeah. Is she did. Oh, yeah, they killed her, right? Or no? Did she die? 
She's not alive. I can promise you that. Yeah, but did she survive? No. Didn't you see the movie? <laughs> what, Saving Private Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> no, t- trying to save Anne Frank. On August 4th, oh. 1944, Anne Frank and oh, the other wait. people in hiding were discovered and arrested. She started at Auschwitz and then went to Bergen-Belsen. Oof. Well, she started in the attic. Yeah, she died of typhus. I thought she was an Aries. <laughs> <laughs> what is typhus? <laughs> uh, typhus got her. It's a ty- typhus hey, fever. What's typhus? <laughs> I think I put that on my tacos earlier. Uh, typhus <laughs> fevers are a group of diseases caused by bacteria that are spread by human to humans by fleas, lice, and chiggers. Ooh, ooh, I got chiggers before. Yeah, they're not fun because they burrow in your skin and shit. Yeah, they're not good. That's the goal. Remember? Yeah, they're. Like, you don't remember? You weren't there. They're like a tick, but worse. Yeah, they're. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chickers. <laughs> I didn't know she went to Auschwitz. So who found her book? Me. Hmm. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. <laughs> R. Kelly. Yeah. Ooh. It was, like, it was hiding, hiding in the attic, not the closet. So I pulled out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a game for you. <clears throat> meep, 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 meep. Is that from SpongeBob? Meep, meep, <laughs> meep, meep, meep. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> uh, after the arrest of the eight people in hiding, helpers Meep Guys and Bep Vascuji <laughs> found Anne's writings in the meep secret annex. Meep Guys? <laughs> meep. Mm. It's M I E P G I E S. Is that Mipe or Mip? I don't know. You heard me say meep. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know how to fucking say it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to try to say the same word. One, two, three. Snitch. America. Uh, America snitch. America snitch. Oh, I got it. It's it's a name. Or no. Okay. No, I don't know where you're going, so I won't do that. America snitch. Okay. Do you have some? I was just my first thought was like like an American who defected to like North Korea or like Russia, like who's like a snitch for America. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Ready? No, I don't have anybody. That's a movie called The American Snitch. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know spies' names. He's not a spy. He's a whistleblower. Let's just redo it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I was going with Edward Snowden. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Ready? How about... Uh, I was going to start over with new words. How about he went to Anne Arundel Community College, University of Liverpool? Snowden did? Yeah. <laughs> like that's one school? I think so. No, because he went to Arundel High School. Holy fuck. And he went to a Anne Arundel Community. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't either. That's wild. Holy shit. All right, one, two, three. Wand. Amazon. Amazon wand. Oh, I got it. I got it. That's easy. That's easy. It? Yeah, it's so easy. You have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. so easy. Got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Fire, Fire stick. stick. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Like that it. was that really was, good. Uh, yeah, that was way over my head. Got it. All right, let's do one more. Okay. I got, like, poop on the bottom of this. Look at that. I fucking rotten pickles. See? You got you my, see that? You got my celery from last week. You fucking giblets. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Okay. I was going to I was gonna call this episode Grandma for the Win. <laughs> Since they learned how to text. <laughs> You could just call it Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Right. Yeah, oh, wait, I had it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, all right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Nob. Lasagna. Lasagna knob. <laughs> okay. Is, is that like when like your dick gets like layered in blood? I don't know. 
<laughs> I thought I had something to say, but now I don't. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, like when you get a bunch of schmegma because like all the cheese and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Jewish word. <laughs> okay. Lasagna. I was knob. so convinced of what I was thinking, and then I said it out loud. That's <laughs> 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 when the world ends song. All right. Um, Lasagna knob. One, two, three. Schmeg crust. Oh, crust is good. <laughs> That's really good. Um, Schmegma crust. I mean, there's only one yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Four Penis. skin. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> what do we do after that? <laughs> uh Ah, penis foreskin. <laughs> oh, penis foreskin. Oh, jeez. I said there's there's the one word. Quandary of life. Penis foreskin. Uh, there's there's one word. Okay. One. Got it. Got it. One, two, three. Circumcise. <laughs> you gonna say foreskin and then circumcise? <laughs> <laughs> Uncut. It's just not a. We're we're running out of real estate here. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uncut. Circumcised. Oh, I got it. Okay. One, two, three. Tom Brady. That's good. Perfect. Oh yeah, got it. Okay. One, two, three. Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. <laughs> yeah. Want to see my Peyton Man thing? <laughs> He's uncut. <laughs> He's uncut. <laughs> uh, all right, last one. Okay. One, two, three. Fuck these sports, sports kids. kids. Bitch ass fucks. Um, well, like, subscribe, comment. That's all I got. Mm. Take a Don't shower. Don't talk about my sister. Take a shower. Take a shower. You know, with David. If there were people that actually watch this, they would talk about your sister, but meh. Ah, uh, um, yeah, fuck you, sports kids. Peace. To the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's all I got. What's he have, like alopecia or uh, he got something. leprosy or something? Motherfucker looked like he got, was in a fire. So I typed in seal disease and it said <laughs> um, seals can be susceptible to many diseases. Like clubbing? Uh, parasites, uh. bacterial, viral. Ooh, seal finger. Ooh. Infection of the hand and fingers that can be caused by a seal bite. Ooh, you can get seal finger? Ooh.